Welcome to the Code Rx blog and podcast. This podcast is brought to you by Creative Designs by CCW, a full service web design, social media, and SEO agency. Now, I'm your host, and my name is Candy, and today we're going to be diving into the fascinating world of Kotlin, a language that's been making waves in the software development community. Now, in this episode, we're going to discuss what what Kotlin is, what makes Kotlin a standout language for modern development, why it's gained such rapid adoption among developers, how it compares to other languages such as Java and Swift, and we'll also share with you a mini tutorial that's going to help you get started. Now, we'll also discuss some of the key features of Kotlin, what makes it so versatile, efficient, and such a joy to work with. So again, I hope that you'll enjoy this episode, whether you're new to Kotlin or you're more uh, more of a seasoned developer. Developer just looking to expand your skill set. So sit back, get into that programming chair, and join us as we kick off this exciting exploration of Kotlin on the CodeRx blog and podcast. Okay, so let's start at the beginning. What is Kotlin? How was it created? What are some of the key features? And how is it used? So first of all, Kotlin is a modern programming language developed by JetBrains. They're also the creators of popular development tools such as uh, IntelliJ IDEA, JetBrains Rider, and Kotlin Multiplatform. Now, Kotlin is designed to be concise, expressive, safe, and interoperable with existing Java code. Now, it can be used to build a wide range of applications, including server-side applications, Android apps, web applications, desktop applications, and more. Now, what are some of the key features of Kotlin? First of all, uh, conciseness. Kotlin reduces boilerplate code uh, compared to Java, making it more efficient and easier to read and maintain. Another key feature would be safety. Kotlin includes features that help prevent common programming errors, such as null pointer exceptions, and this is achieved through its nullable type system and other language constructs. Another key feature would be interoperability. Kotlin is fully interoperable with Java, meaning you can use Kotlin code in existing Java projects and vice versa. So this makes migration to Kotlin easier for projects built on Java. Another uh, feature would be functional programming support. Now, Kotlin supports functional programming paradigms, offering features like higher order functions, lambda expressions, and immutability by default. Now, coroutins uh, is another key feature. Kotlin provides built-in support for coroutins, which simplifies asynchronous programming and makes it easier to write asynchronous code that is more readable and maintainable. Another feature uh, would be multi-development or multi-platform development. Now with Kotlin, uh, with the multi-platform of Kotlin, you can share code between different platforms such as Android, the Apple operating system, and the web using a single code base, reducing duplication and increasing code reuse. Now, Kotlin has gained popularity in recent years, particularly for Android development due to its modern features and improvements over Java, but it can also be used in back-end web development and various other domains, offering a versatile and powerful alternative to traditional programming languages. Okay, now let's explore a little bit further some of the uses uh, for Kotlin. 
Now, we've already said that Kotlin is a modern programming language and that it can be used for a variety of purposes across different platforms, from back-end development to mobile app development, and even native development for desktop and embedded systems. Now, there are, here are some other common uses and areas where Kotlin is applied. First of all, uh, Android app development. So Kotlin has gained significant popularity as an alternative to Java for Android app development. It is fully interoperable with Java, allowing developers to use existing Java libraries and frameworks within Kotlin projects. Now, Kotlin's concise syntax, null safety features, and modern language constructs make it uh, a preferred choice for many Android developers. Now, also, Kotlin can be used in back-end development. So Kotlin can be used for to build backend services and APIs, and uh, it's supported by popular frameworks like Spring Boot, Ktor, Micronaut, uh, making it suitable for building robust, scalable server-side applications. Now Kotlin's compatibility with Java libraries and seamless integration with tools like Gradle and Maven further enhance its utility for back-end development. Now, Kotlin can also be used in web development, uh, both on the front end and the back end. Frameworks like Kotlin JS enable developers to write front end code in Kotlin that compiles to JavaScript. On the back end, Kotlin can be used with frameworks like KTOR or KTOR to build web applications. Now, uh, also, jo uh, uh, Kotlin can be used in desktop application development, um, leveraging frameworks like Tornado FX for Java FX or Jetpack Compose for native desktop development. Uh, all of this can allow developers to create cross-platform desktop applications using Kotlin. Another use would be in data science and analysis. Now, Kotlin is increasingly being used in data science and analysis workflows. Libraries like Kotlin DL, which is Kotlin Deep Learning, provides tools for building and training machine learning models using Kotlin. Now, Kotlin is also used in game development. Kotlin can be used for game development in conjunction with game engines like libgdx, uh, which supports Kotlin for writing cross-platform games. Now, Kotlin can be used in embedded systems, um, and it allows uh, developers to target platforms like the Apple operating system, uh, the Mac operating system, uh, Windows, Linux, and even embedded systems, making it versatile for a wide range of hardware and software uh, applications. So overall, summing it up, Kotlin's versatility, modern features, and strong interoperability with Java have contributed to its adoption across a broad spectrum of software development domains. And its concise syntax and safety features make it an attractive language for both new and experienced developers. All right, so now we're going to talk about how to get started with Kotlin. Step one, you're going to need to install Kotlin. And you do that by installing the IntelliJ IDA or IntelliJ IDEA. Kotlin is best integrated with IntelliJ IDEA, which is a powerful IDE for Java and Kotlin development. So you want to go to JetBrains, the JetBrains.com site, and I'll make sure to leave that uh, site in the comments for you if you look in the comments of this video. Uh, and then you can go ahead and download and install IntelliJ I-D-E-A or IntelliJ IDEA. Now, once you do that, you want to go ahead and configure the Kotlin pl uh, plugin. 
So once uh, IntelliJ IDEA is installed, open it, then go to Preferences. Once you locate Preferences, go to Plugins, and then go from Plugins into Marketplace, and then search for Kotlin and install the Kotlin plugin. Now, after you've done that, you're ready to create a new Kotlin project. Now, the first thing you want to do is open IntelliJ IDEA or IntelliJ IDEA and launch IntelliJ IDEA. Once you do that, you want to go ahead to start creating your project by first clicking on File. Once you go to File, then click New, then click Project. Select Kotlin from the left menu and choose the project type, whether it be uh, an example would be Kotlin uh, uh, JVM or Kotlin JS or uh, the Kotlin multi-platform. So you choose your type. Now, once you do that, you want to configure the project settings. So set up your project name, location, and other settings as needed. Then click finish to create the project. All right, now you're ready to start to write your first Kotlin code. So create a Kotlin file. Right click on the search folder in the project structure, usually located on the left hand side of the IDE and choose new Kotlin file forward slash class. So that's new Kotlin file forward slash uh, class. Then give your file a name. In this example, we're going to call it Hello World and then click OK. So now you've done that, you want to write your code. So in the editor, the IntelliJ IDEA will create a new Kotlin file. Write a simple Kotlin program using this code. All right, now if you're still writing your code, you want to pause the video, but if you've written your code, then you are ready to run your Kotlin program. So start by uh, setting up the run configuration. Look for uh, the green arrow near, uh, near the main function or right, or right click on the file editor and select run hello world KT. Now, if you follow these steps exactly, your view output after running the program, you should see the output, Hello Kotlin. And in the Run Tool window, uh, you would see that in the Run Tool window at the bottom of IntelliJ IDEA. So we've created a program. We're just getting started. Now you can go ahead uh, at this point, you've written a program, you've got what you need installed. You want to explore more Kotlin features um, and then continue to explore uh, the Kotlin syntax. And I want to share some resources with you to help you deepen your understanding because this video is just to get you started. So there's official Kotlin documentation that you can refer to. Uh, and again, I will link that in information. This is one place that you can go, but I'll link some other uh, information for you in the comments, not in the description box. Also, uh, Kotlin cones. You can try out the interactive Kotlin cones to learn Kotlin through coding exercises. It's a great place to go and just really sharpen your skills. Now, there's several online courses that you can enroll in uh, that will really help you to get a structured learning path for Kotlin development. And, you know, by following all of these steps and exploring these additional resources, you'll be well on your way to becoming proficient in Kotlin development. I hope you enjoy coding with Kotlin. Now, 
that concludes today's video. I hope that you've gotten a little bit more of an understanding about what Kotlin is, why it's become so popular, some of the uses, and hey, if you follow the steps, you've even created and run your very first uh, Kotlin program. Now, if you will go ahead and explore the resources, like I said, hopefully you're going to be you know, become proficient at Kotlin and you'll be able to add this to another one of, you know, use Kotlin as another one of your programming tools. Now, again, this video was sponsored and is sponsored by Creative Designs by CCW, a full service web design, social media, and SEO company. So I hope that you will go and visit uh, that their website. And I'll make sure to leave a link in the description box. You can also find uh, an article that we've written on Kotlin, as well as some other information on our blog, which is the CodeRx.com. And I'll make sure to link that information in the description box and also in the comments section for you. So again, thank you again so much. And I can't wait to be talking to you guys again on another episode of the Code RX blog and podcast. Have a wonderful day or night. Bye-bye and happy coding.